In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will learn about three phase power measurement techniques wherein we will learn one watt meter method, two watt meters method. We have a volt meter to measure the voltage, an ammeter to measure the current, and a watt meter is an instrument that measures power directly in watts. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. It mainly consists of a current coil in series with the load and a potential coil or a pressure coil connected across the load. Thus the watt meter gives the power reading as P equals VI cos phi. There are two methods to measure power using the watt meter as one watt meter method and two watt meters method. Let's start with the one watt meter method. For the star connected balance three phase system, the watt meter is connected as shown with the current coil in series with the phase one and the potential coil co across the phase. Thus the power read by the watt meter becomes W equals VPHIPH into cos phi. The total power is given as P equals 3 into VPHIPH cos phi. Hence the total power equals 3 times the watt meter reading. Now let's go for the 2 watt meters method. Consider a 3 phase system with the phases as R, Y and B. To this system the 2 watt meters are connected keeping the 1 phase as 1 common terminal. The two current coils are connected in the series with phase R and B and the voltage coils are connected between phase RY and BY, phase Y being the common phase. Consider the phaser diagram for the star connected balance three phase system. As the system is balanced, the phase voltages and the phase currents are equal. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. The watt meters give the power reading as W1 equals VRY into IR into cos of 30 plus phi and W2 equals VBY into IB into cos 30 minus phi as VRY equals VBY equals VL and IR equals IB equals IL we get W1 equals VL into IL into cos 30 plus phi and W2 equals VL into IL into cos 30 minus phi. Adding the two, we get W1 plus W2 equals VLIL into cos 30 plus phi plus cos 30 minus phi. Using the trigonometric result of cos of a plus B plus cos of a minus B equals 2 cos a cos B, we get W1 plus W2 equals VLIL into 2 cos 30 cos phi. Thus W1 plus W2 equals root 3 into VLIL cos phi. Similarly using the result cos A plus B cos A minus B equals 2 sin A sin B we get W1 minus W2 equals VLIL into 2 sin 30 sin phi equals VLIL sin phi. Now taking the ratio of W1 minus W2 upon W1 plus W2 we get tan phi equals root 3 into W1 minus W2 upon W1 plus W2. Thus phi equals the tan inverse of this ratio. The power factor is given as cos phi. Thus the power factor becomes cos phi equals cos of tan inverse of root 3 into W1 minus W2 upon W1 plus W2. We can generalize this formula as phi equals tan inverse of root 3 into higher reading minus lower reading upon higher reading plus lower reading. Let's take an example the readings of the two watt meters connected to measure the total power in a three phase star connected 400 volt system are 4000 watts and 6000 watts. Find the power factor, the total power and the line current. We have the readings of watt meters as W1 equals 4000 watts and W2 equals 6000 watts. The applied voltage is V equals 400 watts. We need to find the power factor, the total power and the line current. For that we use the formulae phi equals tan inverse of root 3 into higher reading minus lower reading upon higher reading plus lower reading and power equals root 3 into VLIL cos phi. From the 2 watt meter methods the phase angle is calculated as phi equals tan inverse of root 3 into higher reading minus lower reading upon higher reading plus lower reading. Substituting the values of watt meter readings we get phi equal to 19.106 degrees. 
Thus, the power factor is calculated as cos phi equals cos of 19.106 degrees equals 0 0.9672. The total power is given as P equals W1 plus W2 equals 10 kilowatts. But it is also given as P equals root 3 into VLIL cos phi. Equating the two equations and writing the expressions for the line current, we get IL equals 15.27 amperes. Let's have a quick review of what we've studied in this Easy Ed video lecture. The watt meter is an instrument used to measure the power of the circuit in watts. It consists of a current coil and a potential coil as shown. There are two methods to find the power of three-phase system. One watt meter method and two watt meters method. In one watt meter method, the watt meter is connected to the three-phase system as shown. For the balance system, the total power in the circuit is equal to 3 times the watt meter reading. The star connected 2 watt meters method is as shown in the figure. In the 3 phase balance system, the 2 watt meters are connected as shown. The total power becomes equal to W1 plus W2. And the formulae for the phase angle and the power factor are as shown. The readings of the two watt meters greatly depend upon the power factor. Following table explains the effect of the power factor on the total power.